Hey, what is going on YouTube family? It's your boy Gabe and welcome to episode 1 of the Street Bear Hunt series season 2. Let's go. Your boy Gabe is back and I'm back with another video. So guys, I've been on season break for quite some time now. I just focused on some stuff outside of YouTube, but don't worry, I am back now and I have a lot of things in store for you guys. So before we proceed with today's episode, go ahead and help your boy out. Malapit na tayo mag 5,000 subscribers. The road to 5,000 subs is real. So if you like this video, do your boy a big favor and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell icon below so you won't miss my next videos. If you like it, go ahead and share it as well. So that being said, I'm super excited to get this episode 1 started. So hindi ko napapatagalin pa, let's jump right into it. So the brand that I'm going to feature for episode 1, nabasa niyo na yun siguro dun sa title, is the one and only above the ankle. This brand is so iconic guys. Whenever anyone asks for suggestions regarding pants dito sa local streetwear scene, ang above the ankle is one of the top or the top suggestion that you will get. So ganun silang ka-iconic. So this brand was created in 2014 by Sir Rabi Samson Yamat. So rest in peace, Sir Rabi. And before we proceed with the episode, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank the whole Above the Ankle family, the whole Above the Ankle team, kay Mam Alex. Thank you for continuing the legacy of Sir Rabi Yamat. And I just wanted you guys to know that we are here continuously supporting the Above the Ankle brand. So more power to you guys and God bless. So that being said, let's continue on with the review. So I have a couple of products here or items here from Above the Ankle that I'm going to feature saying you guys. So here you go guys, this is item number one. This was sent over by Mom Alex and the Above the Ankle team. So this is their box cargo. So this is the first item that we are going to review. And here's item number two. So this one comes in a set. So ito yung stone washed tie-dye t-shirt nila and shorts. So this one, I actually bought it from them because trip na trip ko yung pagka tie dye or pagka stone washed nung kanilang print. The way I review our local merch, I use four categories. Just like season one. But for this season, I am going to change the categories a little bit. For season two, we are going to take a look at the pricing, the materials, the fit, and then I'm going to give my overall feedback at the end. So that's how I will review it in this season. So, hindi na natin papatagalin pa. Let's jump into category number one, which is the pricing. So let's start off with product number one, which is the box cargo. This is priced at 3,200 pesos. So tignan natin kung yung price na nilagay nila for this pants is up to par with the quality. Tingnan natin throughout the other categories kung justified by yung 3,200. So moving on, itong stone wash t-shirt, yung set is priced at 1,800 pesos. So same lang din with the first product. Tingnan din natin kung yung pricing and yung quality of their products are up to par. So that being said, category number one is done. So let's move on to category number two. Tingnan na natin yung materials and yung quality. And let's start off with the pants ulit. So I have to be honest with you guys. For the past season break, I've been wearing these pants a lot. Every time that I go out, I make sure that ito yung sinusot kong pantalon. Siyempre, nilalabang ko rin naman. And nakailang laban na rin to. So what I can say is, yung materials that they used for these pants, that they used for the box cargo, is super quality. Hindi lang siya quality, super comfortable pa. And I really like yung structure ng material na ginamit nila dito because yung the way I wear pants, gusto ko nagkakaroon siya ng stocking. So medyo fold ko siya in certain places to achieve that um, effect. And pagka finold ko siya, it stays there. Hindi na siya nalalaglag even if I walk around. So may structure yung material niya 
pasok siya sa qualities that I was looking for para sa pantalon. So, I don't know what they call this fabric. So, Ma'am Alex, if you are watching this, please let me know in the comment section below kung ano yung fabric na ginamit niya dito. I really like it. It has that certain stretchable attribute to it. Hindi siya yung stiff lang. So, sinabi ko sa inyo may structure siya pero hindi siya matigas. Okay, so moving on, yung fabric that they use for this pants is on point. So, let's talk about the snap-on buttons naman. So, they have snap-on buttons dito sa may leg part, dun sa may laylayan. So, they have 1, 2, and 3. Tapos, dito pa sa loob may fourth one. What I can say about the buttons is hindi siya cheap. It feels super quality, well-made. Yung iba kasi yung snap-on buttons na UUP agad or natatanggal yung snap-on part. Ilang beses ko na siyang sinuot, ilang beses ko na rin siyang nilaban. Ang masasabi ko about the above the ankle quality, super on point ng quality. Pati dun sa buttons na ginamit nila, pinag-isipan nila. So props to the above the ankle team. And moving to the next material that they use, they have a Velcro strap here. So, you can adjust yung opening ng legs. So, if you want a tighter fit, you can definitely use the Velcro strap. Heavy duty din yung ginamit nilang Velcro strap. So, quality materials ang ginamit ng above the ankle team here. And yun din naman talaga yung vision ni Sir Rabi sa kanyang brand. Also, nandito yung tag nila nakalagay above the ankle Philippines and kanina nga pinakita ko sa inyo yung velcro strap meron din sila ng above the ankle Philippines. This is actually super smart because majority ng customers ng above the ankle are sneaker heads. So, they would take pictures of their shoes. Siyempre, nandun na din yung branding ng above the ankle that is free advertising for you guys. Masada sa akin to 100%. Now let's move on to product number 2 which is the set of the stone wash t-shirt and the shorts. So here you go guys. This is their stone wash t-shirt and yung set comes with shorts as well. So let's start off with the t-shirt muna. So guys, I have to be honest, ilang beses ko na nasuot at nalaban tong t-shirt na to pati yung shorts throughout the season break. So what I can say through my experience is that yung fabric na ginamit nila is very comfortable. Iba yung texture ng fabric dun sa labas and dun sa loob. One of the things that I really want to highlight as well is yung pattern ng fabric. As you can see right here, ang ganda ng pattern niya. There you go. Ayan, look at that. Ang ganda ng pattern ng t-shirt pati yung shorts. So, this is definitely a head-turner pagka sinot nyo. I know that tie-dyes are in these days. Ang daming brands na gumagawa ng tie-dye version nila. But for me, yung above the ankle tie-dye or the stone wash is unique. Kasi tingnan mo yung pattern na ginamit nila. And if you guys know me, I really like yung medyo monotone looking na pormahan. And pasok na pasok do sa styling ko. So I really like the fabric na ginamit nila dun sa shorts and dun sa t-shirt. There's just one thing that I want to point out that I'm not really crazy about. So this is just a small part. This is not a make or break part. And medyo personal preference ko lang din tong comment na to. Is that I am not a fan of the collar area. So medyo makapal yung collar area niya compared dun sa normal t-shirts. Mas makapal siya ng onte. And personal preference ko lang, I'm not really crazy about that look. Also, I just wanted to add, since ilang beses ko na ito nasuot and ilang beses ko na siya nalaban, medyo nag-start na mag-baconize or mag-bacon yung collar area. And maybe it's just my pair. Baka sa ibang mga bumili naman okay naman. Pero yung sa akin, I'm just scared that pagka sinuot ko ito more, in the future, baka every time na nanilalabang ko, lalo siya mag-bacon. So, yun lang naman yung gusto kong i-point out. Pero overall, I am still going to wear this because look at this. It's super awesome. So, for the shorts naman, uh, what I want to point out dito naman, ito, I really like this, is yung length na ginamit nila dun sa draw cord or dun sa draw string. So, ang haba nung ginawa nila dun sa draw string and for me, ang angas ng ganong dating, Sometimes I tie it, sometimes nakaladlad lang siya. 
and I really like both looks. Also, what I like about the shorts naman is yung garter area, I like na medyo makapal yung look niya. Para siyang may pagka-boxing shorts in a way, yung makapal yung mga garter areas nila. Yun yung feel na nakukuha ko dito sa shorts na to. So, I really like that part. Alright, so that is the end of category number two, the materials. Now, let's move on to category number three, the fit. So, here you go. Take a look. This is how it fits sa akin. I got an XL and it fits perfect. So, sinunod ko lang naman yung tips ko nung season one. I only buy the sizes na pasok dun sa 24 by 30 to 31 na dimensions. So, if you're following that tip, you will be able to get your perfect fit. Okay? So, ulitin ko lang yung tip na yun para sa mga hindi pa nakakapanood. So, go ahead and measure yourself pagka bibili kayo online. Since hindi mo naman masusuot at masusukat yung size, go ahead and take your favorite t-shirt, yung perfect na sa size mo, and kumuha kayo ng measuring tape, tapos i-measure nyo yung chest area pati yung shoulder hanggang laylayan. So guys, just follow that tip and you will be able to get your perfect fit. Alright, so susutin ko naman next yung box cargo pants. So here you go guys, this is how it fits sa akin. Ito yung box cargo pants ng above the ankle. And what I can say is that hindi ko na to pina-alter. This is their default sizing. Guys, ito yung sinasabi ko din sa inyo earlier about the structure, about how I stack up my pants. So ito yung ginagawa ko. And before, yung ibang mga pantalon ko, pinapa-alter ko. Yung ibang pantalon ko, nilalagyan ko ng rubber band to have that stacked effect. But for the above the ankle box cargo, pinafold ko lang siya and it will stay there the whole day. So, ito yung fit na sinasabi ko sa inyo guys. Sobrang on point ng above the ankle. And also, they customize products as well. So you can contact them, you can communicate with them, you can tell them what you want, you can tell them the dimensions that you're looking for, and they will cater to your requests. So there you have it guys, this is the end of category number 3, the fit. Now let's move on to category number 4, the last category, my feedback. So my overall feedback about this brand is that yung price range nila and yung quality nung kanilang products, they are up to par. So even if 3,200 yung pantalon, yung box cargo, you will know that sulit yung binayan nyo because sobrang quality nung materials, sobrang tibay ng pagkaagawa, and you can also customize the sizing and yung fit is on point as is. Hindi kayo lugi din sa binayan nyo because you will be able to use these pants for years and years to come. So that is my personal take. You guys should definitely check out Above the Ankle. Hindi kayo magsisise. Medyo mapapamahal lang kayo ng konti, pero mas matagal yung magagamit. And yung last point na gusto ko i-emphasize is that yung products ng Above the Ankle looks good. Ang ganda ng itsura ng kanilang pantalon, ng mga damit, ng mga shorts, definitely caters to the streetwear enthusiasts and the sneakerheads. Alright, so that being said, we have reached the end of this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell icon below so you won't miss my next videos. If you want to check out Above the Ankle, I will put the links in the description box below. Also, if you want to share your thoughts about this brand, go ahead and type that in the comment section below as well. So there you have it guys, this is your boy Gabe, I'm glad to be back and I hope you enjoyed the first episode of season 2. I'm signing out for now, but stay tuned for my next video. Peace!